A fatty liver is a condition in which the organ stores too much fat, and if not treated, your liver can ultimately fail. But you can start treating a fatty liver with healthful eating. You may need to focus on certain foods and avoid others. In this video, I will tell you about 10 foods that you should include in your diet if you have a fatty liver. First in the list are grapes. Resveratrol is a natural phenolic compound found in grapes that offers several beneficial properties. It acts as a natural activator of SIRT1 gene, which decreases fatty liver by reducing expression of lipogenic enzymes. It can improve the alcohol-induced insulin resistance and regulate alcohol metabolizing enzymes. It improves non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, that is NAFLD, by inhibiting lipogenesis and oxidative stress. It can also treat alcoholic fatty liver disease, that is AFLD, by decreasing the expression of genes, which are involved in lipid metabolism. In summary, resveratrol has shown promise in preventing fatty liver and fibrosis, improving insulin resistance, and regulating alcohol metabolism. Anthocyanins, which are water-soluble flavonoids, are another group of beneficial bioactive compounds found in grapes. Anthocyanins are the red pigments in red or black grapes, located mainly in the skin and also in the flesh of tinturier grape varieties such as ruby red. Anthocyanins have been reported to improve insulin resistance, liver injury, and the clinical progression of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Second in the list are tomatoes. Lycopene is a lipid-soluble carotenoid found in tomatoes. Lycopene has been associated with various health benefits, including improving the status of oxidative stress and inflammation. It also plays a role in regulating metabolic processes and liver function. Rutin is another compound found in tomatoes. It can inhibit oxidative stress in non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and reduces triglyceride levels. Consuming tomato juice increases the abundance of lactobacillus and diminishes the ratio of acetate to propionate, thereby improving NAFLD. Third in the list is turmeric. Curcumin is a natural polyphenolic compound and the major curcuminoid found in turmeric. Curcumin exhibits various beneficial effects such as antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and hepatoprotective properties. Studies have shown that curcumin can reduce visceral fat and abdominal obesity in patients with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. It also reduces fat accumulation in liver and inflammation. In cases of AFLD, Curcumin suppresses the biosynthesis of fatty acids and affects the metabolism of various compounds such as pentose glucuronate, glyoxylate, dicarboxylate, and pyruvate. This contributes to the regulation of lipid metabolism and reduces the burden on the liver. Curcumin supplementation has shown to improve fatty liver in NAFLD patients, improve liver enzymes, lipid profiles, glucose, and glycated hemoglobin, and decrease serum levels of inflammatory cytokines. Curcumin also regulates amino acid metabolism, tricarboxylic acid cycle, bile acid metabolism, and gut microbiota in NAFLD patients. Fourth in the list are onion. Recent studies have shown that onion significantly reduces liver fat. It also reduces lobular and portal inflammation. It decreases serum levels of alanine aminotransferase, aspartate aminotransferase, triglycerides, insulin, glucose, and TNF, alpha levels in liver cells, Fifth in the list is garlic. Allicin is a bioactive component found in garlic, and it is responsible for many of the health benefits associated with garlic consumption. Allicin has been found to decrease the abundance of specific gut microbiota, such as Cristincinella CI and Ruminococcaceae, associated with alcoholic fatty liver disease. This reduction in gut microbiota leads to a decrease in hepatic triacylglycerol levels. Sixth in the list is ginger. Ginger can significantly regulate lipid homeostasis. This helps in maintaining lipid balance and improving liver function. Seventh in the list is green tea. Green tea accelerates alcohol metabolism, thus exerting a hepatoprotective effect. It also attenuates AFLD by improving oxidative stress and necrosis. EGCG, a major polyphenol, alleviates alcohol-induced fatty liver disease by improving lipid metabolism. Catechins in green tea alleviate alcohol-induced fatty changes, liver dysfunction, oxidative stress, and inflammation. Green tea polyphenols inhibit hepatic lipogenesis. This leads to reduced levels of insulin, glucose, alanine aminotransferase, aspartate aminotransferase, TNF, alpha, and interleukin-6. 
Green tea consumption and green tea extract have shown to improve hepatic fat accumulation, fatty liver condition, liver function, and serum levels of ALT, AST, lipid profiles, and inflammatory markers in NAFLD. So in summary, green tea and catechins have a hepatoprotective effect against NAFLD and AFLD. Eighth in the list is coffee. Coffee contains various bioactive compounds that have potential benefits in relation to fatty liver disease. Coffee improves liver triglyceride metabolism, reduces oxidative stress, and helps alleviate fibrotic status. Caffic acid and trigonaline are two bioactive compounds present in coffee that have been associated with protective effects on liver function. Caffic acid decreases the levels of circulating triglycerides, total cholesterol, free fatty acids, and phospholipids. This indicates a potential role in improving lipid metabolism in AFLD. Trigonaline, a major component of coffee, prevents hepatic lipid accumulation and lipotoxicity by promoting autophagy in liver cells, and thus it helps improve NAFLD. Caffeine suppresses fatty liver disease, and green coffee extract shows more effectiveness in reducing hepatic triglycerides than caffeine alone. Caffeine can also attenuate alcohol-induced hepatic cell damage, steatosis, and inflammatory response. Caffeine has been found to inhibit the activation of hepatic stellate cells, which play a role in liver fibrosis. Thus, it helps in preventing alcohol-induced liver fibrosis. So we can say that regular coffee consumption reduces the risk of hepatic fibrosis in NAFLD patients. Ninth in the list are medicinal plants. First is Rhodiola rosea, also known as Arctic root or rose root. Saladroside is a natural phenolic compound found in Arctic root. It has been shown to improve lipid metabolism and exhibit antioxidative activity, potentially contributing to its beneficial effects in fatty liver disease. Second is milk thistle. Silimarin is a lipophilic active complex found in milk thistle. It contains several compounds including silibin, silidianin, silicristin, and isosilibin. Among these components, silibin has demonstrated significant hepatoprotective effects. Third is ginseng. Ginsenicides are amorphous compounds found in ginseng. They can be categorized into two major groups, protopanexatiol and protopanexatriol. Ginsenicides have been found to suppress appetite by affecting the ventromedial hypothalamic nucleus and inhibit fat absorption in the gut, and it thus help improve fatty liver disease. Last on the list are some fruits. First is lemon. Consumption of lemon juice can dose-dependently alleviate alcohol-induced lipid accumulation and peroxidation in the liver. Second is blueberry. Blueberry juice can alleviate AFLD by inhibiting apoptosis. Polyphenols in blueberry can also promote lipid clearance by inducing autophagy. Third is lychee. Phenolic compounds in lychee can alleviate AFLD by improving hepatic fat metabolism, oxidative stress, and gut dysbiosis. Fourth is mulberry. The aqueous extract of mulberry can improve AFLD by accelerating alcohol degradation and modulating the gut microbiota. Fifth is acai. Acai fruit can alleviate alcohol-induced liver injury by suppressing oxidative stress and inflammatory response. So these are some foods that can help with both alcoholic fatty liver disease and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Now let me also tell you about some precautions related to these foods. Consuming excess allicin, that is from garlic, may cause stomach irritation, especially on an empty stomach or when consumed too quickly. Fructose-rich fruits should be consumed in moderation by individuals with fatty liver, as excessive fructose intake may exacerbate the condition. T-polyphenols and EGCG are generally recognized as safe. However, mild adverse effects like gastrointestinal discomfort may occur at high doses of EGCG. So that's all for now. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you.